Ah, death. Love it or hate it, one day we're all gonna have to embrace it. But if death is what you wish, then no worries, you don't have to wait, because we're gonna take a look at five more mods based on death. Now, we've taken a look at a few videos already about this. In fact, I think this is like the third or fourth one. There seems to be a lot of mods based around death, so I'll go ahead and put that in the top right corner if you want to check one of those videos out. Anyway, the first one is called the Kill Box, and what this is going to do is it's going to turn any prop into a kill box. Now, if I were to touch this prop, I'm going to die a very horrible and miserable death. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, mind you, this works for pretty much any prop, big or small. So, if you want to turn a giant square into a big box of death, you can totally do that. And it'll kill pretty much anything you touch. Just be careful not to drop it on yourself. So, if you wanted to, I don't know, get rid of the red, you totally can do that. I mean, there's going to be a bit of red, just so you know you know, death is imminent, but still it's cool that we do have quite a few choices. Here's all the different options you can choose from. As you can see, it's just different hues and different colors in different areas. So really just pick whichever one looks the best to you. Now, unfortunately, you cannot turn ragdolls or NPCs into death boxes, which I guess makes a lot of sense considering that these are probably the things that you'll be killing them with. But this is more so about killing other people, not us. So what do we have to do to kill ourselves? Well, that's simple. Simply die. Sorry about that guys, I did not have the proper mods installed. Now when we die... We're gonna have this really cool animation play out. And then everything fades to black. Super edgy, exactly what I'm looking for. And this is the Black Ops 2 Zombie Death Animation. A pretty cool and very simple mod. So whether you accidentally blow yourself up, or you accidentally fall off of a great height. Or maybe you're just at the wrong place, at the wrong time. The bottom line is, is now when you die, it's gonna look nice, and it's gonna look fancy. But what does it look like in third person? Well, unfortunately, there's no way to know, because the second that you die, it forces your camera into a first person perspective. The only way to know for sure is if I had someone else to join me, which, sadly, I do not. Alright, I'm tired of dying. It's time to take my frustration out on our good old pal Odessa. So after taking him out, you might notice... a weird sound. And that's because... now ragdolls will properly decompose. And hopefully this doesn't upset YouTube or anything. But we can see dude's getting mighty skinny. Definitely losing quite a few pounds. Let's go ahead and pull him up and see how he looks. So obviously the stain on the floor is, well... Whatever's left of our good old pal. Now this does seem to enter certain stages. The first stage is done. Now we just have... Skinny Long Odessa. Now how long does it take for the second phase to initiate? I couldn't tell you. I don't even know if there is a second phase, but apparently they're supposed to decompose... ...until they eventually don't exist anymore, so... We're gonna put that one to the test. Oh. So he just exploded. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. Let's go ahead and try it on the Rebel here. Should be about the same thing. It does take a minute for it to set in. This is rapid decomposition. But it's also a really clever way to have your ragdolls disappear. In a very gross manner too. Like, does it really need to make that sound? Oh god, look at the textures. She's decaying rapidly. Okay, she looks like a mummy now. Definitely... Kind of a twisted mod, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of morbid, macabre, and kind of creepy at the same time. But what about the Combine? Surely the Combine don't subject themselves to the petty human decomposition techniques, do they? Well, they do, because as we can hear, and as we can see with the puddle, oh my god. He's even changing color too. It's so interesting how the textures slowly fade in. Until he's nothing but, well... A brown piece of meat. Definitely a cool way to get rid of ragdolls, but maybe you've got a bone to pick with someone. No worries. Turn them into nothing but bones. This is the Skellifier. Definitely an interesting addition. And you can do it to corpses. So there we go. The decomposition phase is complete. Now, of course, the only thing that's really unfortunate about this, it's really funny too, because they maintain their position when you turn them. Well, the thing that sucks is that it only does work on humanoid creatures, because, well, on a hunter, 
We can't even click on it, so that won't even work. In fact, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this was going to be a Will It Survive video with just this weapon, and I was gonna test it on, like, the Incredible Hulk and SCP-106. Sadly, it does not work on either of those NPCs. In fact, it pretty much only works on, well, the Half-Life 2 NPCs, and only the humanoid ones at that, so I thought, you know what? That would be a really lame- <laughs> What the hell is this? I thought that that would be a really lame video, so here we are. And yes, you can do it- Oh, God. I wouldn't recommend doing it on the torsos, though. We've definitely found a glitch in the Matrix, but <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous either way. How do bones decompose? I mean, obviously they decompose, but like, not like this, right? I mean, there's bone marrow in there, obviously, but other than that, this should pretty much just be dry remains. What is this wetness? And last up, guys, another fun way to go out. Now when you die, everything will slowly become nothing more than a blur. The sound suddenly phases out, as if you can't even hear what's going on outside of your own head. You accept that death has taken you, and realize that this is the end of the video. If you want to leave a like and subscribe, you totally can. Links will be in the description. Use code NECROS94 when you're at G Fuel to get 20% off your order. Become a member today, I'm gonna add some awesome emojis and other exclusive content like even a video on how to make thumbnails for YouTube. All the links will be down below. Thanks for watching and until next time, farewell.